Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing the new Simon Whitlock darts from the 2022 Winmore range. It's a very nice black and gold coloured dart but it's such a weird shape I'm not sure it will be for me. And like I said when I did the unboxing of the, the, the launch gift box I will be giving these away in a subscriber draw so when I come to throw them I'm going to try and keep them in pristine condition so whoever wins them will get them uh, perfect. But let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 23 gram version of the Whitlock Onyx AU which is a PVD black coated barrel with 24 karat gold plating on it. The 90% tungsten and you can also get them in 21 gram and available in soft tip in 20 gram barrel weight 18 and the price at 59 pounds and 85 so the darts come in this quite colorful packaging um, inside you've got a foam insert holding everything in place and the darts are in the little windmore round plastic and aluminium point holder that is a really nice start and they come with vector stems which is looks like short size to me so it's like polycarbonate with an alloy top and you've got the salmon whitlock standard shape flights all right here's the quick look then i'll do a super close look so the dat's fitted with a black coat point and it's quite an unusual shaped barrel. You've got this quite long front half which is tapered and then you've got a kind of a pinched in, in waist, very uh, pronounced gallop and then on the rear it's almost straight but it just slightly tapers out a little bit and then tapers back in towards the end of the barrel but uh, that is a really nice looking dart now this is so nice i'm just hoping it does work for me but as i promised i'll give them away in my subscriber door but if it does happen that they do work for me then i'm definitely getting another set but i think the black and the gold combo just works really well but it is an unusual shape and when you think about what Simon Whitlock darts used to be like they used to be originally one of my favourite darts they were like a front weighted long torpedo style wide at the front and then tapered so he's gone completely different now but it comes with the vector stems and Simon Whitlock flights nice design on them so here's the super close look now Right, here's the super close look. As you can see, the front's got a smooth taper, and then you've got a kind of a couple of knife edge style rings. Another smooth section with the gold cotton, and then more of those kind of knife edged rings. But a uh, very nice looking dart. And you've got another band, more of them similar rings, and quite an interesting section here. It's kind of like a, a wide band but with slightly concave, I don't know what you would call them, like rectangular sections cut through it. And then you've got the quite pronounced scallop. It's really quite a, a deep scallop that. And on the rear it's kind of like a, a mini shark style grip. And then right at the end of the barrel, it's a fine micro style grip. So there you go, there's a super close look at the new Whitlock Onyx gold coated darts. So the darts fit with a 26mm black coat point, there's a smooth tapered section at the front of 6.8mm and then you've got a mix of the knife edge rings and the gold uh, plated bands. So I'll just let you look at the picture there. The widest section is 4.4mm and then you've got a band with these kind of concave 
rectangular sections with the gold plate on that's three millimeters then the scallop section 5.3 millimeters and then you've got the section with the micro style shark grip that's 12.6 millimeters and then a fine micro grip taper on the end of 5.7 length is 50.9 millimeters width is 7.3 millimeters twenty three point zero nine grams twenty three point eleven grams and twenty three point zero seven grams full setup twenty four point seven two grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. So there's a mix of grips here. On the front section you've got some parts that are low level grip and then others that are around about medium level. And the scallop I've give seven because it's grippy in itself in that your fingers sit into it. The shark style grip on the end 6.5 so there you go hmm I have always said before I'm not a massive fan of uh, a long thin taper but that little bit of grip at that front section is quite nice um, I'm not throwing it trying to group it I'm trying to keep the darts in pristine condition for the giveaway but got a little bit of a spin off the grip there like but I think that grip where it is it just falls in just about the right spot only problem is I'm finding the odd dart is kind of spinning off it so I may try and hold it a little bit closer to the nose so see what that's like but the uh, balance is better than I was expecting it to be yeah flying a bit smoother there from the nose so I think when I was holding it where that grip section is it was kind of like catching on the edge of my thumb a little bit and spinning off but that was my first throws so obviously it's getting used to it but I really do like the look of them. <laughs> now I'm throwing kind of on them like weird grippy things in front of the scallop and also a little bit into the scallop there so it's a, a dart that I think is probably mainly for people that are going to have it around there but I always do try it from the front and the middle and the rear so I'm on that section there so I don't know whether you can see that but uh, I kind of prefer that feel a little bit better because it's a little bit wider one thing I do notice as well is if you just go into the scallop a little bit you've got something to push against so and I think the dart is flying a little smoother through the air but I'm not sure if it is a dart for me to be honest it didn't feel too bad gripping it from the nose but it is quite a weird weird dart so <laughs> I'm going to try this one just fully in the scallop just to see All right, it just spun off all over the place there. So, definitely not for me. <laughs> Such a shame though, because it's a really nice looking dart. And I really wanted it to suit me, but I don't know, maybe I might get another set in the future and just practice more with my front grip. But it doesn't work for me at all from there. Well, I think it's actually flying better from there on these darts. 
It is a weird dart though. I'm sure some people will love it and I'm sure plenty of front and middle grippers are going to love it as well. But like I say, it's kind of specific to Simon Whitlock. It's one of them darts that you're probably going to have to try though, just to see if it works for you. I just find it amazing that he went from that front loaded dart to something like this, but there you go, he does a few strange things. Well, I think it's flying better from the rear section. <laughs> Well, I'll leave it there. I said I'm not going to try and ding them up, and I haven't. They're in perfect condition. So whoever wins these for the giveaway is going to get a really nice set of darts. It's Friday today. I was hoping to get the review done today, but the City Fibre guys out in the street laying the one gigabit optical broadband or whatever it is, fibre broadband, and they're making so much noise, I can't get anything recorded for them. So I'm doing this late on the evening. So hopefully I'll get the review out tomorrow, which will be Saturday when you'll be watching it. And I'll do the giveaway on Sunday. So it'll be my 29,000 subscriber giveaway. So you'll need to be a subscriber of the channel to win. Uh, but like I say, it's an unusual dart. I'm, I'm sure lots of front grippers will be happy with it, but. I think I need to practice with it a little bit more and definitely felt too weird thrown from there from, for me. But again, I think I may be able to get the hang of it if I just practice with it a little bit more. What you see there was genuinely my first few throws and I normally do that with every set of darts just so I can give you my first impression. Because I think normally the first impression is what counts because people are going to have that first impression if they're going to a shop to try them or anything. Um, but what I normally do, or what I used to normally do, is I'd play with them for longer and then I'd write in my written review about uh, how I got on. But I haven't been keeping up to date with my uh, review site, but hopefully when things calm down, I'll get back onto that and then I'll go back into that process of uh, doing a proper full update in the written review. But I won't be doing it with these because these will be going to somebody soon but really nice looking dart so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at it look out for the giveaway on sunday i'll see you on the next one happy darting <laughs>